Hello everybody, this is Naman Jane coming up with a new update. So this um, is about my game, a game update. And as you can see, I've added a lot of things. So first of all, I actually bought an asset from uh, the Unity uh, asset store. I don't remember the name, uh, Manufacturer, Manufacturer K4 or something. He makes great um, environment assets as you can see. And I took a... Uh, um, a sample from it and just put it over here so I didn't do a lot of things with the environment but it looks cool with my character however uh, from the feedback I got earlier um, in the previous video uh, I had a lot of positive comments and some criticism too which I appreciate a lot and again I request you to give me some constructive criticism uh, in this video too so first uh, people told me that uh, the, the single target attacks and the ranged attacks look very similar. So I changed them to add a lot of variety. And second, I also noticed that uh, even though I have a melee character, it had a lot of range attacks not giving a feel of a very melee type character. So I even changed that and made it a very melee based character. Before I show you the attacks and stuff I want to keep you in I want to give you a mindset of this character so this character is basically based on weakening the opponent and then attacking it so giving it an advantage over its opponents so just keep in mind that and I will show you all my skills so first um, we will have a single target attacks uh, let me just check if I put in yeah uh, and um, it's gonna be laggy I guess if I put on big, yes, it's going to be really laggy. I'll just put it on small screen for now. So it doesn't get laggy. Okay, there we go. So first of all, uh, I will just explain you what the single target attack does. So basically, the single target attacks, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, there are 6 t uh, different single target attacks. I won't spend a lot of time, you can just pause and read them. But the first one is a dot. Uh, it's a bleed, so the target bleeds for 5 seconds. The second one is just a bash, so just a hit to the target doing 250% strength damage and 100% base damage and so on. And shield blow is actually a stun and uh, also deals some more damage. And these are all, uh, keep in mind, these are all impact kind of uh, damage skill spells. So, and these three are weakening spells over here. So you have shatter which uh, reduces the physical resistance of these opponents, these monsters, by 30%. So as uh, this is a physical type, so it deals physical damage. And if you reduce the opponent's physical resist, it will obviously increase the damage. And then I, I can demonstrate to you that later on. And then you have mark of dead. Basically, if the opponent uh, reaches below 40% of his health, uh, you will deal 50% more damage. Uh, I didn't write that properly over there. I need to rewrite that. So basically you deal 50% more damage when the opponent health is below 40%. And weakening ground is um, basically reduces the opponent's uh, damage, uh, his damage by 20%. So as you can see, these are three really hard weakening spells. So the first one is a bleed. As you can see, it, it's good doing a bleed animation. And if you go over to a buff pool, which is a pool of dots, you can see that the orange over here has a dot and there's a damage over here. And uh, I just made these uh, health really high so it doesn't really affect their health. And two is just the bash, which does uh, damage. And that's the stun, so it stunned it for some three seconds. 4 is a shatter which uh, reduces uh, the physical resistance, mark of death. And the last one is weakening ground. This one is interesting. So basically, this uh, it first affects the enemy, the first our target, uh, reducing its damage by 20%. And then it sends out these rays. And these rays actually hit other uh, targets and reduce their uh, damage by uh 50 uh, by 20 percent so as you can see a buffs over here uh, as it actually hit all three of them and you can see uh it reduces their um damage by 15 because yeah uh so we uh, so next we will uh do the area of effects 
Okay, so we have the area of effects and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first one is as previous uh, stomp, which you basically jump on the ground and lightning bolt, which sends a lightning bolt. And those two are uh, similar and they're just to damage and this one stuns. Then you have a uh, frozen strike, which basically you do a strike and it, it'll freeze the opponent for three seconds. So that's like a uh, uh, CC if you get in trouble. And then you have a bleed it out, which is like a better version of uh, bleeds. Basically, you throw out knives and uh, you bleed. Uh, you uh, give the bleed effect to people uh, around around you, and then you have a hot strike, which basically gives a dot. So basically, as you can see, these two are impact. This is a weakening. Sp uh, no, this is just a stun. These two are um, dots. So there's that variety over there: dots and then uh, stuns, and then you have an impact spell. And then you have another impact spell to give out that uh, uh, damage, a DPS. And then you have an Asterisk Strike, which is like a weakening spell, which reduces their armor by 25%. So you have this variation of different kind of uh, mechanics going on. So um, I will just show you how they work. Just need to see uh, where they're buying on. Okay, six. So as uh, the previous one I showed you, this is just Stomp. Then you have Lightning Bolts. And then you will have, um, I just need to see what key they're on. And then you have, this is the, the strike. If, if you don't do it near them, they're not going to get frozen. But uh, that's AOE right there. And then you have bleed it out. Which is basically, basically the uh, throws out knives and you give the bleed effect. As you can see, let's go over here and do it too. Oops. It's it's a little hard to direct this. Yeah, there we go. And you have um hot strike, which is basically a dot, also a fire kind of dot. I'll show you over here, which gives them a dot. Uh, for I don't even know. I I I don't even remember like, uh, four seconds. And um. Uh, this is like an impact kind of thing, so it's just a normal AoE. It's just just does damage because you always need that one spell who which gives out that uh, DPS, one or two spells, and then you have an acid strike, which is obviously a weakening strike. Um, so it basically reduce. I can even actually show you them reducing uh your uh, its armor. So, uh, which one of these? One second. Yeah, okay, so this one over here has 50 armor, right? So we're going to go in, we're going to press X, and as you can see, it reduces its armor to 37.5. And I'm pretty sure 37.5 is... Uh, one second. That's 25%. So it reduces it by 25% and we can see the um, effect again over there. So it's like a poison kind of thing which rots into your um, uh, armor kind of thing. And that's all for area of effect. And now we have the buffs. I actually didn't change literally anything in the buffs. But for the guys who have not seen my previous updates. Um, I'll just uh, go through them, uh, Just you can just read through them, I won't even talk through them because I've actually done that in the previous tutorial. I just don't want to waste a lot of time. You can just pause and look at them. So basically they're just different buffs like give me extra damage, give me extra resistance and etc. So that's the first one. W if I sadly have an error. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is really sad guys. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from the breakdown <laughs> of the game. So basically the first one is Burning Rage, which basically gives this particle effect and increase my damage. And this one uh, gives me more armor. And this gives me more resistance. And this one gives me more movement speed as you can all uh, already see. 
and yeah and this one gives me it, it's in like an overall buff kind of thing so those are buffs now in the we in the end we have my favorite par parts the range attacks now people uh, seem to have liked them a lot but also got some uh, criticism that they look the same they they do the same thing i've tried to change them and bring uh some variety in them and i've not completely succeeded in that but i've definitely got variety so on the first one we basically have a dot so basically it gives you a dot and now a second one is something different basically goes between characters and actually as you can see it bounces between them as you can see so that's a pretty cool effect they're giving some variation so it basically um bounces between uh characters which i like a lot to be honest and i can't stop doing it and then and then we have the uh, uh just an impact uh, like we always need a dps out there which gives a direct dps and in the end we have a stun uh, uh a stun which i can show you and it's a bit longer stun than uh, the last one so the, the and uh yeah the wait uh, they have to be a little bit far apart or else they because their colliders are already intersecting so they don't uh they don't care about each other There we go. And we'll let him chase me. And I will give him a stun over there. And it's just lagging because um, I have the video on. But um, there you go, guys. Um, an update to the game with the new, um, new uh, attacks I have. Uh, again, uh, I, I really want to know if I've actually made it better from the previous um, previous style of gameplay or uh, have I made it worse or is it just the same. Uh, please give me any uh, constructive criticism you can. Also share this video, I really want other people to know about this game that I'm making and also the demo will be coming out, don't know when. But it's going to take some time as it's going to be a full-fledged game. But thank you guys. If you liked my game, you can subscribe to look for more like, share, and all the good stuff. Uh, and bye-bye guys. Have a good night.